All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish and His Therapy. Time to get that therapy. But today it's in a slightly different way. Today we will be doing a review of a company that reached out to me. They're called Strapino. What is Strapino? It's a company that are centered around providing high quality ratchet straps, okay? Straps for your tie downs, for kayak, for your boat, for any of those things that you would need to be secured on a regular basis, okay? But in particular, they provided me with this particular strap, and this is for a transom tie down for your boat, okay? If you guys notice, if you take a look here, I already have a tough guy. I have a, a transom strap here for my boat, and I'm big on safety, guys, so this right here has impressed me. I've done some research on this company. Um, they've been around for a little while, and they have a few things that's a slightly different from this particular transom tie down that we're gonna dive into. So today, I'm gonna do an unboxing of this product, show you what it looks like straight out of the box, look at a couple of other items they sent me as well, and then we'll install it on the boat. After we install it, I'll give you my full details and rundown of what I think, guys, I think it's gonna be a pretty good product. All right, guys, stay tuned, let's get into it. All right, guys, let's dive into the unboxing at this time. First off, the box comes with uh, instruction manual okay that's pretty cool packaged nicely get ready to be strapped and ready I like the tagline pretty good pretty catchy let's dive in <clears throat> here I see a S hook right away and these are pretty much what comes with like your standard um, bolt uh, tie down transom tie down um, it's a hook that basically goes along with the tie down you can attach it as an extension if you want to just have two double S hooks at that time. So I like that, it, and I love how it's clearly labeled. The brake strength of this of this tie down is five is three thousand pounds and one thousand pounds working limit, which is really good. I don't think I'll be using this one because I have the hardware and a setup to just bolt mine down directly to my transom without needing the extra S hook. Okay but I love that this is included and may be used in the future at some time, okay, if I, if I need to. But let's jump into the actual transom tie down for Strampino. Look at that, it looks high quality. You know, compared to the other one, it is a lot more sturdy. I love that it has the yellow highlights on it. It definitely looks good. Look at that heavy duty, okay. So this company, the thing that I really like about this company, guys, is that um, they make a, a really good high quality product, okay? And this particular strap right here is 100% polyester. It's waterproof. I'm not 100% sure, sure on the, all the, the other one that I have, but I love that this is 100% polyester and that it lets me know the brake strength. Now this is the thing that I, I was really excited about that makes, that, that separates them from the competition. If you notice right here, this is a retaining clip. So the one I already have here does not have a retaining clip. And sometimes I'm worried about that thing, you know, the boat becoming a little loose, the strap, and then it'll fall off. But this retaining clip I have on a lot of items, you know, just like a carabiner clip. I love that it has that right there. That's very sturdy, very strong, and it looks like it's not gonna go in, it's gonna retain that. So that gives me extra added peace of mind. And when you're on the road, traveling long distances, fishing, the last thing you wanna worry about is if your boat is gonna fall off the trailer. So this is gonna be really good. Look at that. Very well made, okay? I love it. Um, I noticed that, I think it's about four feet that they have here. And it has the simple bolt a hole right here that you'll be able to bolt onto my boat really quick. And they provided more, more bolts and hardware as well. So I have two extra S hooks. Look at that, that's two of them. And I have two tie downs from Strapino. This is gonna be really exciting guys. Product is high quality. Let's see how we can get it on the boat efficiently and effectively. I think it's gonna be a really easy install. But look at that, I'm excited about it already. It looks smooth. Very sleek. Let's get into installing it, guys. I'm excited. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get started installing the Strapino. I'm going to get ready to take my old buckle off at this time. And so what the hardware that they give you, they give you the washer. They give you the, uh, the lock nut. 
you know, in the bolt. And um, on my socket wrench, it looks like you need a uh, 5 8 socket. Looks like that'll work. And I think that'll also work for my old one as well, okay? So I'll utilize that with just a vice grip to be able to hold it. And we'll go ahead and get it released and installed. It looks like it's going to be a really quick install, which is another bonus for this product that makes it very easy and accessible for anyone to do in a short amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and release it. Okay, so I have it released. I'm going to give myself a little bit of space. I'm going to take my vice grip, and I'm just going to clamp it on the back here. Give me a little bit more tighten down. All right, got my vice grip in place. Okay, there we go. Ah, broken, easy. Okay. That was easy. And I'm gonna use the bolt that they gave me. Go ahead and take this strap off, really easy. Take this one off because we got to put strap pino on. There we go. Nice. Simple. All right, so we got that one off. Now let's go ahead and get the strap pino put on. All right. So on this product here, it's the same reverse process. Remember, I'm loving this hook right here. But anyway, you basically reverse that. You release it. And that's how you do it. You press down, right? And you, that's how you lock it, you can crank it down. But then to release it, press down, up, give yourself some space, okay? And then for my bolts, I'll go ahead and just, they come just like this, nice so you don't lose them. There we go. I love the heavy duty quality washer. And the bolt, looks like it'll stay on very well. So now, you put it straight on there. You put your bolt through. Very simple. Put your washer on the other side, not on the front side. Put your washer on the back side, okay? Whenever you do most things, that's, that's what you do. You see how it, and then there you go. I'm gonna just simply put the washer on until it's hand tight. Okay, now it's, hand tight now I'm gonna turn it and what I'm gonna do since it's released I'm gonna have it hooked onto my transom of my bolt so it holds it in place the way I want it and now I'm gonna go with the same easy process release that bolt right there from the previous one all right give myself a little bit more this one this bolt is uh, more heavy duty actually than the one that I've already had on here. So that is another plus. Okay, five eighths, looks like it's gonna work. There we go. Look at that, okay. Give myself a good angle that I like. Ah. Ah. There we go. Hand tighten it. Look at that thing. Ah. Okay, I'm loving that so far. Look at that, guys. Look how I have it clipped on. This is my uh, <laughs> my little makeshift way to have my transducer in. But anyway, look at how it sits on there. Look at how hard it would be to, for it to remove. Because of the keeper clip, guys. Because of that. This is very important. Very, very important. And I love that. I'm going to keep this on there for a long time. The quality of the straps is very well made. Look at that. So now we'll get ready to crank it down, okay? All right, guys, so we got it on there. Looks very simple. And like I said, again, it's very sturdy. I love that. So let's go ahead and get it tightened down. Okay, that's all you do. See, press it in like this, down. And now crank it. There we go, look. You always wanna get it to where it's super tight. I love that already. Hook isn't moving and going anywhere. I love it. Thanks, Strapino. Let's get it cranked out. All right. 
There we go. I think that suits me. Probably a little bit more. Ugh. Nice straps. Yes, sir. It's going to help me get that therapy. I love it. So now we're just going to repeat that same process on the other side. All right, guys. And I'll get back to you guys. And I'll further unbox a couple of the other items that they also sent me as well, Strapino. And let you guys know what I think about those. But let's get the other one put on the other side. And let's come back and let's do a full detail breakdown of what I actually think of my true thoughts. Okay, all right, guys. guys the install is all complete. Strapino is looking really good on my boat. I love the hooks here. Once again, I'm going to highlight that. Um, I'm definitely going to give you guys my full assessment in just one second. But I love how everything is laying itself out. Look at that. Straps are pretty good. Sturdy. Looks like it's going to hold very well over time. Yes, sir. I think you guys got a good product going here. Strapino. I love the way it's laid out. I love the extra security. This right here is gonna definitely set you apart from the competition, right here. All right, guys, thank you guys for staying tuned. Let me guys give you my outro, my detailed breakdown, what I really think about the product. Um, I think they're really good. I think they're gonna last for a long time. The straps, I like the build quality. Again, I like the hooks here. They are well made. Um, I like the hard wells as well. They have the keeper bolts that uh, keeps it, you know, the locking bolts, and then the general bolts uh, that are able to just have the washer, you know, and the and the nut on there on the bolt. I think those are pretty good, guys. I'm really excited about the product. We're gonna see how it stands the test of time. I will come back and do a, a six month update, a year update when we, you know, beat it up, take it on some rough roads, see how those bolts hold up if they become loose or anything like that. Um, but I don't see, I don't foresee it having a problem. May I, my other set was on there for coming up on uh, 10 months now, 11 months, and I think they work pretty well. So this is definitely a good product, Strapino. Thank you for uh, sending me the product. The product works pretty well, but uh, we'll see how it te stands the uh, test of time. Uh, the other apps you also gave me, I'll be doing a review on those in the future. Stay tuned for that, guys. The uh, straps, those are like the general ratchet straps that I'll, I'll likely use for my kayak. It's up above my head. You guys can't see that at this time. But guys, thanks for staying tuned. Go over to uh, check out Strapino. If you guys are really interested, go down and check in my link in my link in my description you'll see their uh their amazon link for their website link as well as amazon they ship everything through amazon the products are made in taiwan um again this ratchet strap um this this transom tie down for the boat is uh, um is really good has over 3,000 pounds of brake strength um the working limit is around a thousand pounds i love that it's going to be a high quality product guys so check them out strapino all right, so stay tuned, guys. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Get you guys one of these. It'll make life easier, so you don't have to deal with all that fumbling and stuff on those general tie-downs, all right? They're changing the game. You guys change your game as well. Thanks for staying tuned to another episode of Fishing is Therapy. Peace.